Hi guys, um, Nedok here. Today I'm gonna show you something really cool. If you watch videos on your computer, it doesn't matter which kind of videos. If you watch videos, then this is ideal for you. Now, um, I record quite a lot videos on my TV through my DVR, and once in a while it happens that the quality is a little off, the brightness might be too high or it's a little blurry or whatever. Most of the times you can actually fix it yourself. Um, you simply go download the program called Videoland or VLC Media Player. Um, you might already have it. If you have, then it's alright. Uh, kick it up and let's look at it. If not, then you just download it and you continue. Um, I'm gonna start it here and yeah, it looks pretty simple. The interface is really neat and simple as it should be. Um, alright, I think I have something here. Yeah, I have an episode of 24 I recorded a few days ago. Um, let's just try and drag that over here. Um, let's find a scene that we find interesting. No, actually it doesn't have to be interesting. Um, some facial details would rock. Um, so let's see. We've got something we got something there. Now you see Jack's face or the left side of it um, and that is enough. Um, let's click here on um, extended settings and then you go to video effects and we're just gonna stick with the basic but there's a lot of all of the cool stuff that you can play around with if needed. But We're gonna stick with basic. Now we're gonna touch two things here image adjust and sharpen. I'm gonna start off with some sharpen. You take a look at the picture here. It looks alright but the quality is not the best and um, it's a little blurry and I'm not satisfied with that. Now let's throw some sharp on. It doesn't have to be much. You can overdo it and then it simply just looks uh, ugly. Um, and, but we're just gonna stick with a little tiny bit of it. And you can for example take a look at his sweat here. Um, take a look at that and we're gonna enhance the quality of that. That's pretty much, this is small details you gotta look at when enhancing the sharpen. Alright, so that looks alright as we got it there. Um, and now for the most important part, the image adjustments. Um, I'm just gonna make it fit to my monitor and you just do the same, you know, don't put it exactly as I do because all monitors are different and you know, just play around with it until you're satisfied. I'm gonna, for example, I'm gonna start off with putting up some brightness and afterward I'm gonna compensate that brightness with some contrast. Um, and I think I'm alright with it here. And then I'm gonna put down the gamma. And yeah, I, we pretty much got it here. You can fine tune the sharp after that. But yeah, let's take a look at it. I'm just gonna close that one down and I'm gonna stretch this a little. Alright, so here you have it. Um, it looks alright. It looks very, very decent to me. Better than the original anyway. Um, let's try turn this on and off. Now this is the um, this is the final result. Um, you can st of course still play around with it and make it look even better. Um, but I'm pretty satisfied with the result I got here. Now the original looked like this. And as you can see there is really a big difference. I turn it on again, and there we go. Or actually, the really original is here. And well, it looks pretty. It looks pretty. There is too much brightness, and it is a little blurry. But the blurry part we fixed with the sharpen. And for the brightness control, we played around with the contrast, brightness, and gamma. And that pretty much made it look like this. Um, which is really great. I mean, come on, it looks amazing. For this bad recording, I mean, it, it did really not look that great, but with this, it really does. There is also another thing that you can do. Um, you right click here, you click video, and you find the one called post processing. It doesn't do that much, but it fixes some color correction and so on. So let's try and take a look at that. Now, his skin is way more smooth now, and well, I guess it gives a better experience when it comes to watching movies or TV shows or you know just pretty much everything it goes all around um, and you can pretty much take a look at it from any clip here we got something here uh, let me just find it again there um, 
and we just turn it off again and there you have the original we put the sharp on and we put the image adjustments on and do you see the difference it's really amazing now that was pretty much it I wanted to show you and yeah well I hope you find it uh, useful and yeah leave a comment uh, or whatever and yeah have fun and watch a lot of movies or well not necessarily movies it can be anything anyway have fun and enjoy <laughs>